This week on Scam School, Alex Rangel teaches us a fundamental move of magic and how to combine it with a bit of wordplay to score free drinks. I like free drinks, how about you? Toast me, you magnificent skullduggerous scoundrels. Back again at the Rusty Mule with our special guest, Alex Rangel. We, of course, have Ash and Matt, longtime Scam School fans and friends. Alex, I don't know if I've told you, these are my favorite episodes because I get to be as fooled and as surprised as everybody else. What do you got for us? Uh, miracles in a box. You play cards, Ash? Uh, sometimes. What kind, of, uh, what kind of card games do you like to play? Um, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have you uh, pick one of these. Okay. I'll go like this. You say stop. Stop. Take a look there. Okay. Can you remember that one? I hope so. Perfect. <laughs> I'll give these a little mix. Do me a favor, think of a number. There's 52 cards in the deck. You can think of whatever you want. I would think of a mid range number to make it fun. 25? 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. This is the 25th card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that the card underneath my bracelet is your card. Okay. You just seem fine with that. Like, <laughs> all right. It seems well, awfully fair seems, so far. If you want to swap, we can swap right now. But I'm saying that the card under my bracelet is your card. That's what I'm saying. Do, do you want to switch or you, you want, want to stick switch? with that one? For funsies, I'll switch. Son of a... <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not supposed to do that. All right, no, no. What, Shenanigans. You, from here or from here? Which one? Why don't you pull from there? All right. So what we're saying is the card that you peeked at, that is the card underneath my bracelet. I'll, I'll go it? with it. So you can move those. I don't even want to get this near those. <laughs> what was your card? It was the two of clubs. No, that was the card on my wrist. Yeah. I said the card underneath my bracelet was your card. What, what was the card? What, what was your card right there? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yeah. Oh, that's that's devilishly clever. All right, I, I need the inside sauce on how you prep for all of this. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Domains are too f***ing expensive. Not if you use Domain.com. They're fast, easy, and reliable but I don't want to pay full price for a domain. Use promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout and you get 15% off. Thank you very much for your sensible explanation. I will do that right now. All right, so a lot of longtime magicians know every time you start to see a Hindu four shuffle, they're like, I knew it was a force when I saw you doing the force. <laughs> yes, duh, we're all magicians here, we get it. In your mind, substitute whatever your favorite force is. But the fact is, most lay people, it's a really, really good force. That's why we all keep using it, right? So where did the idea for this come from? So the idea came from actually a girl back home who has a company called Foul Mouth Bracelets. Okay. And she handmade this bracelet right of Angel's request. Like my brother Angel, he was right. like, oh, this would be awesome. So he knew exactly what I was going to do with it. And I like the fact that there was a clever bit of wordplay. You said uh, specifically, what was the, what was the phrase? Uh, I, I'm saying that the card underneath my bracelet is your card. Afterwards, the womp womp is, no, 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 no. That was the card on top of my wrist. This is the card under my bracelet. And, and this is classic scam school, right? Get them to commit based on the verbiage and then reveal the twist. But I love the permanence of a hand stamping or a tattoo or something that really escalates it to the next level. This is a good opportunity to review the Hindu Force Shuffle. So you make a pack pan with your left hand, you shoot it and it's dead. And then to send it down the river sticks, you put the deck of cards in there. And then your right hand, also a pack pan is gonna grab from the sides. And this one's gonna take a few cards off the top and then drop them. A few cards off the top, drop them. And then that way you leave the bottom card undisturbed and you're able to just keep taking them off. So which one of you guys wants to, actually Ash, I want you to prefer, yeah, Ash, it's gotta be Ash. All right, Ash, gather up your cards. Uh, hello, Ash, I hear you have wizard powers. Yes, I am a wizard. Boy, do I have a trick for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go through all these cards right here. Yeah. And I expect you to tell me when to stop. Okay, you got it, I'm ready okay. to tell you when ready? to stop. Mm, I'm not feeling it yet. I'm not feeling it yet. Oh, keep going. And stop, stop. Okay, 
Do you see it? Yeah, I see you it. Remember is it? that my card? That, I'll, that's I'll your card. It. I give you his card too. But okay, it's he, our he's card. like your backup. Yeah, right on. In case you forget, okay. I want you to pick a number between one and uh, fifty-two. Seventeen. I'm gonna go seventeen. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. Twelve. She's milking it. I love it. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17. Okay, you okay. got it. That's the 17th card, all right. It is. Now, I'm gonna take the 17th card and put it right underneath my wrist for you. Yes, your, 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 your mid-forearm forearm bracelet. Now, you can either trust me, or you can pick from one of these. Which one would you like? You know what, I think my card is under your bracelet. That wasn't my card. That's okay, because that wasn't the card I was talking about. Oh, I was, I was talking you said about... the card under your bracelet, though. Yeah. I don't understand. This card. That's oh, under the your two of clubs. That was my card. You are a wizard. Yeah. Burn the witch. Yeah. <laughs> well um, done. Burn, burn. Guys, when it comes to magic, sometimes the simplest ideas are the best one. This is a dead simple trick that you can do right now. All you need is that bracelet. You can make your own, or we're going to put together a big pre order batch available right now at scamstuff.com. It's gear for the modern rogue. All of you are going to be able to wear this bracelet at all times, and when you need it, you'll be able to sucker punch them right in their soul. That's a thing you can do, I just decided. Meanwhile, if you have a favorite bar scam, magic trick, or unbeatable puzzle, hit me up at brian at schwood.com or let's be BFFs at twitter.com slash schwood. There is no C in schwood. And if you haven't already, you know you gotta check out the modern rogue. Jason Murphy and I are up to antics, shenanigans, and other tomfoolery just like this. That was oddly satisfying. You look all better. <laughs> he looks great. <laughs> New and improved. Do you want it? Here, we can Mirror. peel this away. <laughs> Mirror. <laughs> I have probably the most amazing thing I've teach, taught, <laughs> teaching on scam school. That's a, that's a hell of a, I think it's the energy of your presentation that always gets to me. <laughs>